Hello, I'm Rachel Jones for the Finance News Network. Joining me from Oswide Bank is Managing Director and CEO Martin Barrett. Martin, welcome back. Thank you, Rachel. Great to be here. Oswide Bank is a Queensland-based bank with a national footprint. Can you tell me more? Rachel, we're an organisation that is over 50 years uh, of age. We converted from a building society to a bank uh, about three years ago and changed our name with New Vibrancy. Uh, we have assets now, which is over $3 billion. Uh, our home loans have been growing uh, very strongly, and we've been growing our business banking arm of the business uh, as well. So we are on a pretty strong growth path in an industry that's remaining uh, uh, relatively uh, subdued, given the, uh, the environment the bank's been operating in for some years now. Thanks, Martin. Now to your financial year 2018 results. What were the highlights? It was a great year for us, Rachel. We had uh, a very strong uh, net profit uh, after tax growth uh, coming in at about $17.9 million, which was up uh, just over 18%. We had some good loan growth. Loan growth was uh, above 5%. We had very strong consumer loan growth, uh, strong business banking growth. And really, really importantly, we were able to maintain our net interest margin over that uh, period of time as well, which uh, helped with that uh, bottom line result. The culmination of all of that, of course, is that uh, we have seen improved return to shareholders and our dividend is up for the uh, year. So we're now returning uh, a yield that uh, uh, is over 6% uh, fully franked. And Martin, what do you think contributed to that result? As I said, we had good loan growth. I think that was a big contributor. We were able to grow our funding uh, and keep our costs down on our funding over the course of the year, which is a uh, critical uh, component to it. We had diversification of our revenues, so that home loan growth, that consumer loan growth, as well as that business banking growth uh, all contributed uh, as well. And We've had really, really pleasing customer growth over the course of the year uh, as well. So the combination of all of that has uh, led to uh, a pretty, pretty good uh, result. And what was the dividend for the half year and the full year? So our dividend for the half was up by one cent to 18 cents. And our dividend for the full year uh, increased to 34 cents versus 31 cents in the prior year. So there has been good uh, dividend growth for our shareholders. Thanks. And Martin, residential real estate markets are softening. Where is the loan to valuation metric sitting? Our uh, loan to valuation ratios uh, have continued to fall, which basically means that we are strengthening the quality of our loan book. Uh, we have seen uh, valuations starting to fall in the two markets that uh, were perhaps the strongest markets, being Melbourne and Sydney. But conversely, uh, some of our regional Queensland markets, uh, which uh, Oswide is a big part, actually are starting to show some level of strength. So we're actually quite encouraged about what the home loan markets uh, will look like for regional Queensland over the course of the year ahead, which uh, ultimately means that we think we've got some good growth opportunities uh, from those particular improving markets. And Martin, it would be remiss if we didn't ask for a comment on the opportunity provided by the Banking Royal Commission. We think that there will be some good opportunity for us uh, as a result of uh, what's been disclosed from the Royal Commission. Without doubt, the big banks are suffering from some fairly significant reputational challenges. As a result of that, uh, we have started to see uh, some level of uh, improved consideration for uh, Oswide Bank. We'll be upping our marketing efforts over the course of this year so that we can take uh, advantage of that and spread the word, if you like, increase the brand um, awareness of Oswide Bank so that we can capture perhaps some more of that market uh, over the year ahead. Last question now, Martin. What's your guidance for the first half of 2019? We're expecting another strong year, Rachel. We uh, have already had some pretty strong uh, loan growth, which is, uh, I think, uh, a positive start for us for the year. Uh, we uh, will continue on the path of our disciplined cost management. We will continue to grow both our personal lending uh, as well as our business banking lending. Uh, and we'll continue to manage those uh, cost of funds uh, quite strongly uh, as well. So momentum in the business is good uh, and we expect that to carry forward to some, uh, some, 
some good growth over the course of the year ahead. Thanks for the update. Thank you, Rachel.